Hey everyone, my name is Matt. Welcome to my backyard. Today we have a returning guest. If you remember Jeff, he was here a year ago. A year ago. Jeff brought uh, two logs last time. He brought this just absolutely massive walnut crotch log. I think it's blades like six feet and it had some incredible compression figure along the whole length of it. And then we kind of ran out of time that day. So the second log I cut later on, it was a uh, kind of smaller, air quotes, smaller crotch that uh, had some really cool inclusion thing in the middle and ended up being some nice nested slabs. So just back again with, uh, well, this piece you said was part of the pile from the small log from last yeah, time? Yeah, just it just liked it or part of it. We're not sure. So it's been like, the other one was sitting around for a year before I cut it. Right, this right? is two years. And this, oh, this is two years now. So yep. it's a little rough looking. So we'll, we'll see what happens with that, but I don't think it'll be too much of a, of a big deal. This one is what, like, I don't know, probably 36, 42 wide down here. I would say right around, I forget measuring it, but we can. Something like that. We we'll get some measurements out. later, but the uh, the other one is this giant thing, another uh, walnut that uh, you said blew over, right? Yes, this one was brought down in a, from a windstorm and the homeowner got a hold of me or I got a hold of him after it was down and uh, got a little bit of history on it. They they cut the root section off of it, but you could see the root was rotted. Oh and yeah, that, that's what allowed it to the wind to just push it right over. And uh, we have pictures of that too. But this this came off the property. It's in Portage County, Ohio, and that property was established in 1812. He told me, and then they did add-ons and modifications to it through the 1800s and early 1900s. So we're thinking for sure that this this tree was growing there a hundred and some years ago. Wow, and it's biggish. It's kind of a goofy shape. Let's take a quick uh, closer look at it. So do you know the uh, diameter down here? Uh, 38 inches inside the bark. So 38 and then we're what, like uh, 10 something yeah, feet Yeah, from long? where I'm standing to the top of that crotch is 10 foot. Okay, so that's a good size. It looks kind of funny, but if you come around this side, there's another crotch. <laughs> so. We got uh, kind of an oddball kind of shape. You can see this limb was going up this way, kind of away from everything else. So that's going to be kind of an oddball thing. And most interestingly is this kind of a uh, hole or, or void in the side of it here. So we're going to have that to kind of uh, contend with as well. So kind of a big goofy piece of wood that we're going to uh, get on the saw and I think there's gonna be a little bit of back and forth of which way we're gonna cut this thing because even I have no idea at this point. So as this thing hangs here, we've kind of given it some thought. I think we're gonna basically ignore this and just kind of go for this kind of crotch in here. So that'll give us a somewhat flat plane, you know, up in here to saw against. And to make it a little bit easier to go on the saw, I think we'll just roll it over so that this is down on the bed. And that should be a little bit easier than trying to get it leveled out with, you know, this goofy limb thing sticking down here and this kind of oddball shape on this side. So I'm going to put this thing down and then we'll just roll it over and then throw it throw on the saw. Should be about it. How's that look? More level? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Definitely. Even higher than that, maybe? It's, I don't know. Yeah. This is still dropping down, but it looks pitched up there in the middle, but it's because it these are sweeping so much. Yeah. I 
think it's just going to be kind of a goofy thing. Yeah, at least we want to block up that much, I think. So whatever that is. Basically this distance. Like four inches, maybe? Almost perfect. Yeah, it's like that. Up in here? Yeah. And we'll probably need one for both sides then. Yeah. Well, we'll see, because we have, I think this side has to come up more than that side anyway. Yeah, I think it's probably, it looks like it's not right, but the good stuff is going to be in line at least. It's going to be a little weird until we get down into here-ish. Start getting your full width. Yeah. Yeah, that'll be fine. You'll get some kind of shorter, kind of weird stuff right. up here, and then you'll get, I don't know, four really good ones. I like it. How, uh... Oh, yeah, okay. That's not really... It looks sketchier you, than it is. You got a lot of weight there. This, that one feels kind of heavy. Okay, here's what we're dealing with, with the uh, these limbs here kind of you know, traveling this way, they're blocked up till we get this main trunk area level, which this thing looks like it's kind of weird up on there, but the uh, the area that we really care about is gonna be the crotch figure produced by these two larger limbs. And that area of the tree here is level. We have this buttress area here that we blocked up to compensate for, but then we'll have a nice uh, even level cut uh, for the majority of it. And then we'll have some kind of weird partial width stuff up top. And here's what it looks on this side. It's, you can see how the tree kind of grew with that uh, curve in there. This has got a little bit of density to it, huh? Where do they feed these trees in Ohio? Sunlight. <laughs> that heavy, heavy sunlight. Ooh, wood. You wouldn't Surprise. think it'd be that heavy. Huh? You wouldn't think it'd be that heavy. I did, I would, did not expect it to be that heavy. We don't want to lift it. I was just getting it for your. Oh, forks. I thought you're getting all. I'm sure. I thought you were getting heavy. strong on me. Oh, I'm sure. It's trying to get me to show off or something. <laughs> <laughs> we both know how heavy they are. <laughs> well, I don't know. Like, oh, Jeff has a sudden burst of energy. I guess I can try and keep up. <laughs> all right, Jeff. You know the drill. I do. <laughs> What did we talk about calling this? Splish splash? Splish splash, let's get at it. <laughs> well, let's see how high we can get. Oh yeah, that's that's wet. <laughs> well, you got me, so you win. <laughs> I was more worried about the camera. Ah, uh, camera's fine. <laughs> now we got some nice sap wood in here, huh? As we're kind of blending together with the heartwood and, yeah, that's cool. Really cool figure up here, and it's like a little floating bullseye thing. We got a little hole here. All right. I like holy stuff. 
Yeah, that's uh, quite the hole. Yes, sir. Let it. <laughs> Careful what you find. I know. I'm waiting for something to bite me. We got uh, quite the void here. Like, it goes pretty far. <laughs> but, let's see uh, what the remaining wood looks like, I guess. <laughs> Good momentum on that one. Oh, that's cool. There, was a, there used to be a limb right there that got yeah, cut off. Did. And it totally healed around it there. That's cool. Yeah, look at that hole. Otherwise, though, this is pretty clear. There's no, like, knots or anything. You know, aside from the big hole in the middle. <laughs> yeah, I think this is gonna be pretty interesting. Yeah. So now at this point, we're gonna go ahead and flip this thing over. So I'll take a valve and saw it with the uh, towel handler, bring it on the field and flip it over. And that should, uh, well, that'll give us a nice stable base to put down the saw. And then we're gonna slice all the way down to the bed. We're gonna have a pretty good amount of curvature, which we'll be removing on these first or the next few cuts. And then we'll start getting into hopefully the, uh, the prime cuts, <laughs> whatever you wanna call those. How heavy is this little piece going to be? I would imagine not, not much. All right, more than I thought. That looks heavy. It is. Ready? Where are we going? I don't know where we're going. I didn't think about that. Oh, you got this. Yep. You don't even need me. <laughs> what do we got? Basically sapwood. Pretty good amount of, a lot of white. It's cool though. So I think the next cut will have like a full width kind of thing. Yeah. And that was something a little more interesting to look at. Maybe. Stuff in my, in my pants. Stiction. <laughs> yeah, I should clear that. Twelve quarters, no joke. Huh? Twelve quarters are no joke. Someone wanted it so thick, I don't know what they were thinking. There we go. Some color. Got some wet shoes today. <laughs> like, super duper clear. That's like a sea of sapwood. It's crazy how much sapwood that is. Just a lot of clear, nice looking walnut. Haven't hit the hole yet. <laughs> We 
budged it. Here we go. There. The hole took all my water. <laughs> the hole's taking all the water. <laughs> That is cool. That's great. It's like, it's so clear. And then there's just this cool hole. We'll probably have some crotch figure on the next slab because we're just kind of getting into the goofiness of it. When you come down here, there's even some sapwood right here in the middle from the tree, like trying to go around that. That is cool. And we're kind of getting close to Coruscant down here. So very straight grain and very clear. Except for this. All right, it's so beautiful day two. We uh, only had a few hours yesterday. I went through my son's theater performance, which was uh, pretty fun. So uh, we're gonna finish this thing up this morning. Just waiting for Jeff to get back here. And we only have three more cuts left on this thing. And then we'll go on to that smaller log. So I think this is gonna be pretty cool. You do a little you know, inlay here and you got some fun you know, crotch figure up top of there. I don't know, it seems like it'd be a pretty kind of fun slab to make something out of. And since this is probably one of the wider ones, this is the narrowest spot here, it's at 27. And then kind of up in here, 32. And the widest part passing through the saw. Do, 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 do. 67, so. Oh, that's cool. This is awesome. Look at this thing. It's freaking gorgeous. Yeah, this is pretty cool. I like this thing. I just like this void for some reason. It doesn't, hasn't removed any of the stuff I like. <laughs> I guess, and it adds another layer of stuff. And all the crazy growth that was happening around this wound down here, it's just crazy. Like this, that's a bark inclusion there. The tree is trying to grow around this thing. So it was trying to cover this up and it was doing a good job of it because we, uh, we didn't know it was in there. <laughs> Oh, I think it's the like the cortisone grain with everything else that does it for me. It's like a very straight grain, but then we got a hole. <laughs> and we have this cool growth thing going on inside of here, and then we got some crotch figure. And we got two more. Two more. Two left. That's it. Is the hole getting bigger or smaller? <laughs> bigger on this one, smaller on the next one. <laughs> Those stickers out of here. Yeah. Not ready for those yet. <laughs> yeah. Getting ahead of yourself. 
This is nice. Yeah, I do like that straight grain surrounding the big old hole. So you can tell this one's a little bit darker in color since this was cut yesterday, it's oxidized already. So this is the kind of color that this will eventually get to. So it's kind of got this greenish kind of hue to it right now. It'll start bringing in a little bit of that purple in a couple hours. One stack of slabs, one little baby log to go. Yeah, the last one you brought me like this was the sketchiest blocking thing I ever had in my life. Well, that should be okay. We'll see. I think on this one what we'll do to make it a little bit easier, because it's so short, I'm just going to come in and cut, like, way down here. Keep the weight on it. And then we'll uh, put those two faces down so we'll have two pieces on the bed. And we'll just run through them all. Yeah. And we only have, then we only have like one sketchy cut. Yeah. <laughs> this first one. Yeah, right. <laughs> so I'm going to set the saw as deep as it can go to clear this little nub here. And then uh, make whatever the cut that is. See if that does anything. The sun is not very gentle on logs. No. Oh, good. We're into some nice, fun crotch figure. Very nice. That's promising. It's like just like the other one you had here. Just smaller. Some nice ripples for sure. Let's see what, uh, what's lurking here beneath all the sawdust. Oh wow. Yeah, that's, that's pretty good. Yeah, there's uh, some nice ripples down here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this stuff is really, really dry. It's sawing very differently. So there's some of that nice color and swirly green and we're going to have this kind of inclusion thing for where the crotch was. A little bit of figure down in here.
quick peek at this guy because it's got some crazy looking crotch stuff going on. That is nice. Yes, sir. That's some wild grain for sure. Probably the coolest thing about these things is like the wildness of the grain through here. It's so dramatic. So these ones are now split, but still quite cool individually. Yeah, these are not light. Did you want to get the bottom one on there first so we can keep them in order or what? Sure. Okay. So this... I like order. Some order. Let's see what we got going on here. This stuff is cool. Definitely got some cool green. There we go. Some more kind of crazy wild green with hints of figure down the corners. And then this one's got some even wilder looking green because it's still attached. So you have that bar conclusion there in the middle. So there we go, two logs all sliced up and ready to head back to Ohio with Jeff. Again, a big thank you to Jeff for bringing these logs all the way here to share them with us. And a big thank you to you for watching. I greatly appreciate it. If you have any questions or comments on the sawmill or anything back in the shop, please feel free to leave me a comment. As always, I'd be happy to answer any questions you might have. And until next time, <laughs> happy woodworking.